Hi everyone, uh, my name is Emmanuel Obodo. I'm a specialist biomedical scientist and I'm also a lecturer in biomedical science here in the UK. I completed my PhD in biomedical science. I have extensive experience working in the NHS as a specialist biomedical scientist. And for many years, I have helped a number of people secure their dream job as a specialist biomedical scientist and also as a biomedical scientist. I'm here to help you to navigate through interview questions and thereby increase your chances of getting a job as a biomedical scientist. I ask that you like, share, comment, and subscribe our page. Thank you. Hello everyone. So today I'm going to be telling you something very, very important. Okay. So there is this question you will get in every interview you'll attend. There is this one first question, and there is also this one last question. I'm going to tell you what they are, and I'm going to give you strategy on how to answer such questions. Okay? So, the first question is usually, it can come in two different forms, or in more than two different forms. That is basically, you know, when you come in, the panel, they will first of all introduce themselves, okay? And they will tell you how the interview is going to run. So they may tell you, okay, I will be asking you this. This person will ask you, daughter, daughter, you know, this question. And another person will ask you this question and so on, okay? Then, but once they introduce them, finish introducing themselves, the next question, which is the first question they will ask you, the first thing they will ask you is this, may we know you? Or they can say, may we know you and what makes you think you are qualified for this job? It is always the first question because why? There is no need, you know, you have made application and you have said, this is who you are, this is who you are, this is who you are. So that will be the opportunity for them to actually confirm if that is who you are. That's number one. Number two is that, they know that interview comes with tension, it comes with pressure, okay? That question is for you to relax. The system understand that during interview you can be under tension. So they understand that. They understand that you can be under pressure. And that is why they will always ask you this first question, may we know you or may we know you and what makes you think you are qualified for this job, okay? They know that this is you, and because it doesn't matter how tension you are, you should be able to say this is who you are, and you should be able to say that this is what, you know, the way you are, that makes you qualify for the job. Before I tell you the answer, you know, depending on the interview, okay, I'm going to focus mainly on biomedical scientist interview. So, what makes you a biomedical scientist? Number one, you must, for you to be a biomedical scientist, for you to answer that word, scientist, you must be HCPC registered. You see it now? So, if you go to, when you make that application, there is what, is called, there is what they call a person of specification. Okay? In that person of specification, they may say something like, we need someone who has a degree in biomedical science or someone who has a biological science degree and we need HCPC registered and so on and so forth. Then they may say something like, we need someone who, it is, who is multitasking, we need someone who is focused, who is hardworking, as the case may be. That is what you should be providing when they ask you, may we know you? And what makes you think you are qualified for the job? So what I'm going to tell you, it doesn't matter in any form it comes. Whether they say, may we know you, or they say, may we know you, and what makes you think you are qualified for this job? I want you to go this way because you can't get it wrong. First, say your name. Secondly, say your background. After you finish saying your background, okay, then mention that you are HCPC registered. The next thing that you should say, which is very, very vital, is that you see all those things that they list as the person they want you know when you go to the person of specification they will say we need this person we need the person of the maybe good communication skill or hard working and so on 
Just pick like three or four, five things that they, you don't need to say everything there because the list is going to be long. Just pick few, okay, and make sure that that is what you are going to tell them, okay? So here you go. I'm going to try to formulate something, okay? But know that it, this is not absolute. So because each trust, when they make that, when they make put up that advert, what they want can vary from one trust to another. Let me give you an example. Maybe this trust will say, we need someone that is hardworking. The other trust may not include hardworking. They may use the word multi-taxing. Okay? The other one may say flexibility, someone that is flexible. Okay? So, and so on. Okay? So, you need to make sure that even though I'm going to provide you answer, but please, any interview you are going, you are attending, make sure that you get yourself acquainted with your personal specification. But interestingly, every personal specification must have to do with someone who has a degree in biomedical science or biological science or someone and also someone who is HCPC registered. That is where it starts. Okay? Someone who have masters, okay, master degree in biomedical science, or they may say master degree in hematology and transfusion or any other discipline, depending. Again, they may say someone who has specialty portfolio. So it depends on where you find yourself. So, but I'm going to make this as simple as possible. So they say, may we know you? And, okay, let me say this as well before I answer the question. For some of us that studied medical laboratory science, you know that here we don't call it medical laboratory science. We call it biomedical science. So there is no need saying that you have a background or you have a degree in medical laboratory science. You don't need that. Just say, I have a degree in biomedical science because it is the same. Does that make sense? So what I'm trying to tell you guys, when you go for interview, do your best to say the things that this system here is used to. Okay? For example, if you say medical laboratory science, it may sound good for you, but in their head, is it the same thing as biomedical science? So just say, I have a degree in biomedical science because it is the same. If you don't want to say that, you can say you have a degree in medical laboratory science, which is also known as biomedical science in the UK, as the case may be. Okay? Now, here you go. Then, um, then you, of course, you are HCPC registered, and that is why you are a biomedical scientist. So, that scientist is because you are HCPC registered. So, I'm going to answer the question now. Okay? So, the... So they will say, um, they will introduce themselves, they say, may we know you, or they may say, may we know you, and what makes you think you are qualified for this job? Here you go. I will say, thank you very much for shortlisting me for this interview. I really appreciate that. My name is, you mention your name, okay? Then you say, I have a background in biomedical science, okay? Because I, I, I studied biomedical science, so my, I have a degree in biomedical science. Then I'm HCPC registered, therefore I'm a biomedical scientist. The next thing that is important that you must mention is how long you have been working. It doesn't matter if you've not worked in the UK or in any country, maybe US or Canada, it does not matter. So laboratory, clinical laboratory is clinical laboratory. So if you have been practicing from anywhere you are coming from, if you have been practicing you know, from your internship or from any time you have been in the lab, include it. Okay? For an example, if you have been in the lab, to, let's say, since 2015, or you have been in the lab since 2014, or as the case may be, since 2010, calculate how many years from that. Don't come and say, I've not worked in the... You don't need to say that you've not worked here. Just calculate how many years you've worked in the laboratory, give it to them. Okay? So, I know I breached something there so i'm going to start all over again you will say my name thank you very much for inviting me for this interview i really appreciate that my name is you mention your name okay i have background in biomedical science because i studied biomedical science as my first degree okay then i'm hcpc registered and because of that i'm a biomedical scientist i have more than you can say five years experience ten years experience whatever how many years you have calculated 
okay don't shoot yourself on the leg by trying to make it look like you've not worked in the uk forget that just say i have more than five years experience working in the clinical laboratory or i have more than 10 years experience working in the clinical laboratory or i have more than six years experience working in the clinical laboratory you can also say working in a pathology laboratory okay so once you've said that that is who you are okay then what makes you also think that you are qualified for this job okay you then have to include the personal specification what i really want to stress here if they ask you that question you must mention the things that they've listed in that personal specification so i'm going to use example multi-taxing hard working flexible okay maybe scientific orientation as the case may be so i would then say that that I have more than five years experience, I have more than six years experience, you know, working in the clinical laboratory or working in the pathology laboratory. I am multitaxing, okay? I am scientific oriented, I am flexible, I am a good team player, I am other. All those things that they've listed in the personal specification, that is what you should mention. Then once you finish that, you say, thank you very much. And that's the answer. You don't need, that is to help you to relax. I want you to note what I've said. You mention your name first. After your name, you have a background in biomedical science because you have a degree in biomedical science, okay? Then I've said, if you want to use the word medical laboratory science, say, I have a background, you know, in medical laboratory science, which is also known as biomedical science here because I did my first degree in biomedical science or in medical laboratory science. Then you say, I have this number of experience working in the pathology lab or in the clinical laboratory you know you can then mention i am multitaxing i am this i am scientific oriented i am flexible i have good communication skill i am i am hard working and i'm a good team player and so on and so forth whatever thing that is listed in that personal specification you then say thank you very much that's your answer guys okay so that's the first question the key thing I want you to mention here is those things that are in the personal specification. Please, very vital. So I group it into a few headings. Your name, your background, which is your degree, HCPC, okay, that makes you a scientist. Then your clinical experience, okay, you mention how many years. Then finally, you can list all those things that they mention in the personal specification like I've just said. So that's the first question. Now, let's go to the last question. There is this last question they will always go to ask you at the end of every interview. <laughs> so, what are that question? I'm sure I've mentioned it a little bit in one of my videos. So, but the question is always going to be, do you have any question for us? And I said, please don't say no. Don't say no. And I did mention that if you have actually done research, okay, in that about that hospital you should know what to ask them is it now so and i said one of the things you can ask there are few even if you don't know there are polite things you can ask number one you can say thank you very much i do have few questions number one i was wondering when i can hear from you guys about the outcome of the interview they will tell you you will hear from us later today tomorrow next week whatever is it you've you know you've asked and they've answered another thing you can also ask like i've said you could say something like i was wondering if successful you know how soon i will be allowed to do specialty portfolio they will answer you you know okay this time this time this time as a case may be okay that's fine then another thing you can also consider to ask okay is that you can say okay what are the shift pattern here they will tell you we do this we do that we do that and i said when they are mentioning that especially the shift pattern be nodding your head okay because that indicator that whatever thing they said even if they say that they are early start from maybe 7 a.m to whatever they may say that they have a twilight shift that finished by 12 midnight don't go moot oh what is i don't want to work no just nod your head like you're happy so that's the last question they ask you and these are the possible um questions you might need to ask them okay so don't just shy away and say you don't have any question okay so that's the thing okay you guys that's the question the first question i've given you the answer and the last question i've suggested the few things you can actually you know tell them okay or ask them thank you very much again and i wish you guys all the best you take care of yourself bye now